So you have no energy, you can't focus, you can't remember things, you have headaches, piercing, sometimes frontal, uh, weakness, and uh, easy bruising, just to name a few of your symptoms that you go into the doctor with. So you get some blood work done, wait a few days, and then your results come back, you call to the office and they say, guess what? Uh, you're iron deficient. That's the problem. Everything you're experiencing is related to iron deficiency. And you're like, oh, great. So doctor says, all you need to do is take this prescription for uh, ferrous sulfate, go down to Rite Aid, get your prescription, get started on it. Um, and this is just gonna take away all your symptoms. And then uh, maybe you decide, nah, I don't wanna do that one. I'm gonna go to the health food store and get this other one that you heard about called say iron glycinate or iron bisglycinate. Um, it's supposed to be better on the digestive system, not so harsh, right? Um, so you start taking it, but guess what? Now you're having constipation, nausea, and black stools. Not to mention, you're still tired, having headaches, and uh, feeling unwell all, the time, unwell all the time. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt, and what is this all about? I mean, wasn't that supposed to be a simple uh, solution there? With, uh, with all your symptoms. You know, a, a significant issue with standard iron supplementation is that a large fraction of the actual iron that you're taking in orally gets broken down, gets removed from what it's chelated to in the digestive tract. And this leads to malabsorption and irritation and inflammatory protein creation. This leads to, uh, you know, like little irritating iron crystals being formed and salts that um, make their way down into your colon. Um, and when these iron crystals and salt accumulate, not accumulating health, but accumulate in your digestive tract, they cause loads of oxidative stress, which guess what? That contributes to intestinal irritation, intestinal inflammation. And what comes with intestinal irritation and intestinal inflammation? It's not a smile. Nope, it is pain, pain, um, nausea, black stools, constipation, uh, even some people diarrhea, because um, the, the, your intestinal membranes are just being irritated. Uh, so it's, you know, it's no wonder that uh, people taking ferrous sulfate, iron bisglycinate a lot of times, complain of bloating, constipation, black stools. Um, I know my wife, that was one of her main, main issues was nausea and black stools when she was taking iron bisglycinate. Um, but also, you know, some people get crazy headaches, some people's entire bodies ache just because of this iron supplement they're taking. And the one thing you're trying to do is increase your iron levels to get rid of all this fatigue and, and depression and all that. So uh, I actually tell my patients, um, you know, many of them that, uh, you know, maybe you're better off. I used to, at least not now, but um, I used to tell them maybe you're better off just skipping um, the iron supplements and let's, you know, beef liver. Um, let's eat tons and tons of red meat. Um, unfortunately, uh, I've never seen a patient who got their iron levels up just by beef liver and red meat. Um, and in many patients, you know, who have been on iron experiencing all these symptoms, uh, they basically say that, you know, I would rather feel tired all the time. I'd rather be dizzy. I'd rather, um, you know, have to take time to get up every day um, out of my seat rather than experience what I'm experiencing with these iron supplements, these, pres these prescription supplements, because, um, this, no this nausea, these, these black stools, this constipation and, and intestinal irritation, bloating, that, that is way less fun than what I was experiencing before. So I finally decided, um, you know, this is completely unacceptable when I couldn't even help my own wife with her low, low iron levels. You know, I would keep telling uh, her to take her iron. She was, like I said, she was using iron uh, glycinate or iron bisglycinate. Um, you got to do this. You got to do this. You know, you're pregnant, um, with twins nonetheless. Um, and, uh, but her, she could not digest it. You know, it was just more nausea, more black stools. And in the end she was like, I'm just not gonna do this anymore. Not to mention that her, she was taking it and her, uh, ferritin levels kept dropping when she was on it, which how terrible is that? You know, you're, you're getting all these symptoms. Plus it's, it's making things worse. Plus your labs are going down. Um, so finally, uh, we decided, you know what, enough of this, we got to find a different solution. Um, so it is be is a beautiful thing sometimes when you're forced to find a new solution. Um, 
you know, things show up in your life and uh, your understanding of, of iron, your understanding of how iron is utilized, your understanding of how iron can interact with uh, other molecules and other proteins and how you can utilize that to further iron absorption. Uh, so after reaching out to some super cool dudes, some brilliant scientists, we were able to basically develop a whole foods formula to not only increase the iron stores, the ferritin levels without side effects, but you know, we were able to do this crazy fast. And within weeks, uh, my wife and, and, and many, many others were seeing significant decreases in their symptoms and not having side effects with it. You know, fatigue was going away, the nausea was going away, the headaches were going away, uh, performances were increasing in the gym, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they were taking half the amount of iron that they'd been taking previously and getting better results. Like, how does that work? Um, so, but best of all, I would say is that, um, you know, my wife, she had no nausea and she had no black stools and uh, she was able to give birth to two beautiful little girls um, and have adequate iron levels um, during that process. Uh, her ferritin level actually went from nine to 23 in 31 days. Um, and like I said, that was in the third trimester um, with twins, which like her midwife said, who's delivered like 5,000 plus babies. That's crazy, that just doesn't happen. Um, so super grateful for that. Um, and super grateful that we found basically this specialized whole protein way of getting iron into the body um, without the whole side effect profile, um, you know, in this kind of this whole food form. So go get your ferritin checked, get on the right iron, that makes all the difference. And you don't have to accept this whole uh, side effect loaded iron experience. So many doctors, so many nurses, so many nurse practitioners, um, humans themselves, um, you know, we're uh, prescribing um, to patients and then patients are experiencing um, this uh, kind of disaster that is iron supplementation. Uh, and it doesn't have to be that way. I know it sounds crazy, but it does not have to be that way. So get your ferritin, check, ferritin checked see where it's at, make sure it's in that, you know, 50 plus, 50 to 100, 120, depending on if, if you're a, you know, an elite athlete or not. Um, and then uh, once you have that checked, get to getting your iron levels up, get that ferritin up, right range, optimal range, and just enjoy the experience that is a fully oxygenated body. All right, check you guys later.